A typical example of a Belgian strong ale is the triple. A triple is going to be light golden in color. It's going to be extremely high in alcohol, but it does not taste like it. Another type of strong ale is the Belgian golden ale. It's a lot like the triple, except it's going to be even crisper and drier, just as high in alcohol, if not a little bit stronger. Think Duval. Oftentimes, this style of beer, the Belgian golden strong ale, will have a reference to the devil in it. Some people think it's you know, just a throwback to you know, Duval being one of the prime examples, but some people think it's because it's so strong that it's like the devil. Also, there's the Belgian dark strong ale, and this is gonna be you know, smooth, rich, and dangerous. There are also a couple of other strong ale styles that we should mention, the old ale, and that's gonna be a strong, sweet beer you might, think of some, you might think of it as something that you would you know, want as the weather is turning colder. But it's not as strong as the barley wine. And the barley wine, it's strong, rich body, it's malt forward, it's very traditional in the winter. It ages very well, so it's one of the styles that you'll, you know, you'll find you know, two-year-old, three-year-old, I've even seen you know, 10-year-old barley wine. And what that age does is it takes the heat from the alcohol away, but you're left with just this you know, delicious, almost sherry-like liquid that is just delicious to drink. But again, it's extremely strong, so you want to drink it you know, by the fire in small portions.